Hello and welcome to Verified Live. We start with breaking news this hour with a special BBC News investigation. The former CEO of the global fashion brand Abercrombie & Fitch and his British partner face allegations of exploitation from men recruited for sex events they hosted around the world. A BBC Panorama investigation found a highly organised operation running the events with a middleman finding young adult men for Mike Jeffries and his partner Matthew Smith. Jeffries is regarded as the modern-day founder of Abercrombie & Fitch, which also owns the Hollister brand. Eight men told the BBC they attended these events, some of whom alleged they were exploited or abused. Two former US prosecutors who independently reviewed evidence uncovered by the BBC have called for an investigation to determine whether charges for sex trafficking could be brought. Mr Jeffries and Mr Smith did not respond to requests for comment. Here's our report from Rihanna Croxford. In the early 2000s, Abercrombie & Fitch became one of the hottest labels in the US and around the world. Sexualized imagery and provocative billboards turned the teen retailer, which also owns the Hollister brand, into a multi-billion dollar sensation. The man behind the vision was then CEO, Mike Jeffries. Mike was tireless. He was very energetic and boisterous. He was an incredibly big personality. He would explode into a room. <laughs> BBC Panorama has uncovered a highly organised international operation recruiting young adult men for sex with Mike Jeffries over several years when he was the CEO of the brand. This experience, I think it broke me and it mentally messed me up. Two men have agreed to tell me their accounts on camera. They attended separate events hosted by Mike Jeffries in 2010 and 2011. Both men say they were recruited and auditioned by a middleman, James Jacobson, known to the men as Jim. David says Mr Jacobson led him to believe he was pursuing a modelling opportunity. I was made to believe, look, this is where everybody gets their start. This is where you want to get your start. It was like he was selling fame. And the price was compliance. David says compliance meant engaging in a sexual act with Mr. Jacobson. Seven more men I've spoken to say they also met with Jim. The men say Mr. Jacobson was part of a well-oiled machine, which included recruiters, drivers and other staff. Mr. Jacobson told the BBC any encounters were fully consensual, not coercive. He said he had no recollection of making promises of modelling opportunities and that everyone who he came into contact with who attended these events went in with their eyes wide open. Yeah, this is the route that the men would have taken on their way to the Hamptons when they were going to go and meet with Mike Jeffries. Once through the audition, the men would then go to an event hosted by Mr Jeffries and his British partner, Matthew Smith. Some were held at their home here in the exclusive New York coastal community the Hamptons. Barrett said he was introduced to Mr Jacobson by an older model who he felt indebted to and knew there would be some kind of sexual activity. David says he was not expecting sex to take place at the Hamptons. I was taken chaperoned over to the main house to the doors that entered into the bedroom where everything was happening and then told to disrobe Barrett says he engaged in an intimate act with another man. David says Mr. Jeffries had sex with him. I didn't feel safe to like say no, or I don't feel comfortable with this. I don't really know what would have happened. I didn't feel like I had any choice. Both men say they felt leaving didn't seem to be an option because Mr. Jeffries' private staff were supervising the event, including in the bedroom. They also say they were asked to sign non-disclosure agreements beforehand and were not given any copies to take away. It felt like they were trying to like, scare us. Uh, that's what it felt like. It felt like intimidation. Both men were paid around $2,500 after the events they attended. Still hoping it may lead to modelling work, David went to further events with Mr Jeffries and Mr Smith, both in the US and around the world. Two US lawyers who reviewed evidence uncovered by the BBC said prosecutors should investigate whether the allegations could amount to sex trafficking.
The BBC has made repeated attempts to contact Mr Jeffries and Mr Smith. They have not responded. Abercrombie and Fitch told us it is appalled and disgusted by the allegations about their former CEO's behaviour. It said a new executive leadership team has transformed the company's brand and culture, adding the company has zero tolerance for abuse, harassment or discrimination of any kind. Rihanna Croxford, BBC News.